Hello natural beauties, welcome to my channel. Today we are doing a collaboration with three other channels. I'm super excited because I am new to two of them as far as collaborating. I am uh, collaborating with Faye Blatcher and a beauty guru made me do it. Her name is Paula. This is my first time collaborating with them and I'm super duper excited because their channels are very interesting. And I'm also collaborating with Beth from Lil Betsy 79. So we all got together and we need to use up some makeup. So we are going to be using Too Faced Peach products. So I'm going to be using the Sweet Peach Mattes and some of the other ladies are also going to use this but they may also use the Sweet Peach Palette as well. And I figured since we're using Too Faced Peach products why not pull other stuff that I have? So I have the foundation. I have one of their um, blushes. It's one of their melting ones. It's spiced peach. And I really, really like it. And then I also have two of their um, oil infused lip glosses. And I love these formulas. Um, I am actually wearing this one on my lips right now. And it really does have a whole lot of pigmentation. Both of them do. But uh, like I said, they're oil infused. And I love the um, a formula. So that is what we're going to be using plus some other fun cute stuff as well. I'm going to go ahead and get started and what we're doing is no matter which palette we're using we are choosing our five favorite flavors in here and so I have my brows I'm sorry I have my eyeshadow my eyelids already concealed with elf concealer it's in one of my project pans so I'm just going to use my first favorite flavor, which is Peach Meringue, to set this shadow. And so um, I'm really excited to have um, gotten involved in this collaboration because, one, I need to use up my palettes. You know, I don't want my makeup going bad. And two, because collaborations always introduce you to new people. And um, I have been following Faye for a little while now, and I really enjoy her channel. I think the next favorite flavor that I'm going to use um, after meringue is this one right here, Peaches and Cream. And I really enjoy it. I'm not real big on cream. I actually don't like um, milk, so I really don't like cream either. But I do like peaches and cream like ice cream we have bluebell here in texas so peaches and cream ice cream is delicious um, peaches and cream yogurt or um, oatmeal so i really enjoy the flavor but um you know it's not necessarily something that i would um pick with a different variety but out of this palette i definitely like the flavor peaches and cream so we'll use that as our transition so now with Faye I love Faye's channel let's see I wrote notes here because um, you know I really want to do them justice because they do have great content y'all so Faye on her channel you're going to find um, a whole mesh of things she's got grandkids she's got viral stories tutorials hauls, reviews. She's got a few do-it-yourselfs. And uh, I think now we're going to go into Peach Cobbler. I love Peach Cobbler. I'm a Southern girl. And even though we ain't in Georgia, Texans still like some Peach Cobbler, especially with our barbecue. Oh, yes, please. So, uh, but Faye's channel, she does reviews and she has a few do-it-yourselfs, like DIYs. And then you can see that she also does collaborations. Now, I'll tell you, the favorite, uh, my favorite thing on her channel right now is she has this series. It's called Zero to One Uses uh, Palettes. And so what she's doing is she's got a series going with all her eyeshadow palettes that she's only used, like, once or maybe even like never and she's doing looks with them and I love that because I also have a few um a few palettes that I don't that I haven't used yet you know and that's why I do 
so many palette pulling and picking on my channel because um, I really want to get through all of my makeup. And so I'll do my Rouge Lettes. I do monthly makeup bags. And then, of course, all the looks and collaborations I do on my channel just in general. So, um, and then I really enjoy Faye's channel because she has grandbabies that'll be on there. And sometimes she'll just be sitting in the middle of chaos, just grinning like a sly little Sylvester cat while her grandbabies are just like all over the place. And she's just sitting there grinning. And then there are other times when she's got to lay down the law. And I think it's hilarious. <laughs> but um, I love seeing her with her grandbabies. Because you can just kind of see her light up. And that's awesome. I think that is what YouTube should be about. Uh, the next one I'm going to go into is, you got to know it, it's Peach Sangria. And I think with this one, one, I think I'm going to use that same brush we were just using uh, for Peach Cobbler in our crease in that outer V. And I'm going to just get it on the side. And then I'm going to go all over my eyelids with it. So now that we talked about Faye, we're going to talk about Paula. And um, Paula's channel is called A Beauty Guru Made Me Do It. And first off, you got to love the name of that channel, right? And you got to love whoever came up with it because that means they are creative and they have a great sense of humor. And Paula certainly does. Um, she has so many unique and interesting project pans on her channel. Um, she's got like, this is me project pan. She has, um, dude, you sunk my panning palette or something like that. It's like a battleship and she's doing it in collaboration with someone else. And they're pretty much trying to sink each other's battleships, but it's with project pan items. And so it's super interesting. And, um, on Paula's channel, you're going to find empty videos. You're also going to find she's doing panning solitaire. That's actually how she and I met. We're going to go in with some glitter glue just right on the top of our um, lids. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my finger. Just that much. That's really all we need. Then I'm just going to give them a sweet little kiss. My mouth is so incredibly dry right now. And then I'm just going to go in and just smudge that out. And you see I switched fingers just because that was still a bit much. And I'm just going to clean it on my Kleenex here. <clears throat> and now we'll go in on the other side. And um, so on Paula's channel, um, I met her because we're both doing the panning solitaire and man, I think that she is so inspiring with her project pans because she does so many of them. And um, let me grab this. So I usually like to keep the little plastic things that come inside of our um, eyeshadow palettes for this reason, because we're going to go in with this glitter and I'm actually just going to go in on something right here. And that's probably way more than I need, but that's what I'm going to use. And that's why we cut our, well, not cut our lids, but we used that um, glitter glue. So I'm just going to grab this real small flat brush and I'm going to go in on the side of it. And you can see that right there, just kind of knock some of it off. We're going to go in on this eye first, and I'm going to be real specific with it. Oh my goodness, look at that. It is gorgeous. This has Harley Quinn, a Halloween costume, written all over it. I'm going to go in with my finger. I have it on my little spiral here where I use to take notes and stuff. So we're going to go in with this and see if we can't lay that down a little better. And, okay, yeah, so I can definitely smudge it out. It was sticking to 
the glitter glue, but I mean, in all honesty, that's why we put it there, right? So it would stick. Look at how pretty that red is. So really nice um, product. I'm going to go in, same thing, on the other eye, just pick some up, and then we'll just tap it right in place. Right on that inner, yeah. So I'm glad that we added this glitter element because honestly, I wasn't really feeling uh, all matte shadow. I would have done it, but like before I left the house, I would have kind of changed it or added something to it. So yeah, that's a really nice color. I think that I would need to find a better brush to apply it with. In the meantime, time I'm going to use this and try and just like blend out those edges. And so that's called blood. So that's not necessarily a flavor that I enjoy, but I thought that it would go well with the look we were kind of creating. So now we're going to go ahead and round this out with a round brush and we're going to go into the color peach tart. Now I will let you, oh no, we're not going to use this one because this one is kind of clean and I like to use it to clean everything um, up. So we'll use this one instead and we're going to go into peach tart and we're just going to focus that right on the outer V. And um, I will say before I got on camera, I went and I did my brows with the color chocolate dipped. So I did use an additional color. So I used a total of six. But again, my goal is to use up my product. Oops, I knocked down my, um, my foundation. So now I'm just going to go in one more time and we'll do this other eye, same color, peach tart, and we're just going to build that up. And so, um, like I was saying on Paula's channel, uh, I met her through Panning Solitaire, but um, she also does Shop My Stashes. She does roulettes. And again, you can see that she does makeup collaborations. So uh, really, really excited to just dive more into her channel and see what all she's got going on that I've been missing. So I encourage you to do the same, not only with Paula, but also with Faye. And then of course, Beth, if you are new to my channel, you may not be familiar with Beth, but if you're one of my subscribers, I want to say thank you for coming back and clicking on these videos and just listening to me gab. Um, and thank you for your interaction and your time. But if you are one of my subscribers, you might already know Beth because she and I tend to collaborate together, which I love and enjoy because she's so mellow and you can tell she just enjoys makeup. Like it doesn't define her as a person or, you know, define her beauty, but she definitely enjoys it. It's an outlet and I love watching her play in it. And she did a video the other day. Um, and she had no makeup on. I'm going to take this first brush that we used and I'm just going to kind of just blend everything together. Um, but yeah, so Beth did a video the other day and she had no makeup on and dude, her skin was just glowing. And I was like, oh my gosh, what does she have on her face? Like she was legitimate, like pregnant lady glowing. Her skin looked incredible. And um, she's always an inspiration to me as well as far as panning because she juggles so many different um, project pans. And I just think that it is impressive. And I feel like this is not coming out the way that I want it. I feel like stuff isn't blending. Look at that right there. You see how that line right there is not blending out? Hmm, I wonder if my palette has gotten old. Well, the only thing I know to do is to try and add more. So I'm going to go into Peach Tart and see if I can't like blend and buff that away. And maybe I just need to add a little bit more to get that weird line to disappear. I don't know. 
But, so, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to uh, be collaborating with these ladies. And I'm also excited to be using this palette. Because, honestly, y'all, I got this palette on sale. And um, I used it, I'm going to say, for a few months. Maybe, like, pretty regular for probably about four months. And then I just kind of never touched it again. And um, I feel like its blendability has kind of changed a little bit because I did know these shadows very well and I never had any trouble blending them out. Oh, now I will say I used this e.l.f. Um, concealer as a primer um, for my eyeshadow and it's really not very good at all. So that could definitely... Um, you know, be an issue. I'm going to go into Peach Cobbler and just try and blend that line out that I just tried to use to salvage this look. But um, yeah, so it could definitely be the e.l.f. concealer as well because it doesn't work very well. But uh, yeah, I gotta admit, y'all, I'm kind of struggling with this. And I didn't anticipate having an issue with this look. Because, like I said, these shadows were so good. And I got to say, even now, some of the shadows are really good. It just seemed like um, that peach tart one, that brown one, I had an issue blending that one out. And it seems like these others are pretty nice. And I don't have an issue with it. So, that one. That one kind of threw a wrench in everything for me. Now, I guess we're just going to go in and um, use this brush right here. It's a clean brush. And I'm just going to use that to just smudge this line. Because it's a pretty stark line. And then I'm going to smudge right there. That edge. And then I'm going to just kind of clean that off on my color switch. And... Make sure there's not too much left on it and do the same thing on this side. That way it's all just kind of buffed out. So, well, this is more difficult than I anticipated. I think that I am going to go off camera. I'll clean up, put on my face, and then I'll come back and we'll finish up. Okay, I did go back in with this brush to add a little more of that red right on top. I added a layer of my Bare Minerals Lash Topia uh, Mascara. I used this Urban Decay Gwen Stefani Rock Steady Lip Liner. And I went in with this Too Faced Cinnamon Bear Lipstick, which is in my Significant Other Project Pan. I used this Huda Beauty Pound Cake right along here and under my eyes just to kind of brighten up a little bit and to kind of clean up from using this as a bronzer and I just use this um, really right along my hairline and then right here and a little high right here um, to do my uh, contouring right there and then I went in with this Too Faced Colored con uh, Contour Coco contour. I used this one right along my chin and under my jawline. And now we are going to um, do some blush. And here is the blush. We're going to use this brush. And I'm just going to go right on the side of this brush. And I'm going to start high and just kind of bring that really along my cheekbone. And then I'm going to do that exact same thing right on the other side again, nice and high. And then just bring that down my cheek and just really buff it out. And I really like this brush because it does buff real nice. And what we're going to do is we're going to leave that high up on the cheek. And we're going to go in with our Natasha Denona Bloom Palette. And we are going to use the blush in here, and we're just going to use the other side. We're just going to dip into it, and I'm going to keep it right on the apples. And then use that other side to kind of blend it out. And then same thing. And I know it looks really, really drastic, but don't panic. 
because we're just gonna blend it out. But I like using the two tone blush and especially because we've got this red lip and this red eye going. So now I'm just gonna get my brush that I used for my foundation and I'm really just gonna blend all of this in and look at how it really just kind of diffuses that. And I'm just blending right along that. So look at the difference between that side and this side. You can see like where I actually put the red right on the apples of my cheeks. But we can fix that real quick with a nice little blend and look at how nice that came out. And so it just adds a little bit of red to my cheeks to go along with the red on my eyes and also my lips. Now we're gonna use this um, brush right here. And it's um, stiff round brush and we're gonna go into this glow right here. This is my favorite product in this entire little palette. And we're gonna go right along our cheekbones and our temples wherever we're gonna highlight. I'm just gonna kind of spread and buff that out. And again, I'm just gonna pick some up. I absolutely love this. When I use this by itself as like a blush and highlight, it gives me the look of my the look on my skin that I had when I was in high school. And it's just this really nice glow. And you see, I'm gonna take it right along my temples as well, just because I like how it really does glow. And then we're gonna go in with a brush. And I think I'm gonna use this one right here. And I'm gonna use like the kind of side of this brush right here. And then that's what we'll use to apply it. And this is more of a glam look than I anticipated, considering that I was using this um, matte palette. But we ended up adding the glitter and then with the red lips for me, it's kind of hard to tone down red lips, right? Unless you have like a nude eyeshadow. But we certainly did not. That is just a, such a beautiful highlight. I love this palette, y'all. It's one of, one of my favorite things from 2019. And then we're just going to finish off with a little bit of a blend where this highlight is. Just so it doesn't look like it's just sitting on our skin. We want it to be nice and blended. And then whatever we have left here, I like to go right down the center of my nose. And I guess we'll hit that little tip right there. And this is gonna be it, everyone. I am so glad that we used these um, products. I absolutely love them. There are some things that I really, really do love and I just haven't used them. And um, man, I just, I can't, I can't use makeup like multiple times a day, you know, to get through everything, but I'm so grateful that I got to play with this and it sent me on, uh, you know, this little scavenger hunt to pull other stuff that I hadn't used, but I still love. And it came out with this beautiful look. Look at this. I think it is super red carpet ready. I will say that um, I did have a little bit of problem blending out that one eyeshadow peach tart, but like I said, it could be related to the fact that I primed my eyeshadow, my eyelids with this e.l.f. concealer, which is really not a very good um, eyeshadow primer at all, but I really do like the look. So go check out the other ladies. They're going to be linked. Their channels will be um, easily accessible to you. I highly encourage you to go and enjoy their content because they are creative, relatable, and very funny as well. So um, I find a lot of inspiration from them and I think that you will too. So go check them out. Thank you all so much for joining me. Just know that I am sending positivity to you and I hope that you're doing what you love. I will talk to you later. Bye y'all.